Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 7 Milk Base Let's learn about Ratio of two given numbers Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about ratio of two given numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Visualize the ratio of two given numbers. What is ratio? Ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities. Using this definition, we can compare the population of China and the Philippines. Based on the 2020 World Population Report, China's population ranked first with 1,439,323,776 people, while the Philippines placed 13th with 109,581,078. We can write the comparison of China's population to the Philippine population in different ways. We can write it into praise form. We can also write this as in colon form. We can also write this in fraction form. We read all this ratio as 1,439,323,776 to 109,000,000. 581,078 Let's do our first activity, Learning Task 1. Based on the figures below, answer the given questions. Number 1. What is the ratio of keys to seeds? Let us count first the keys. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 keys. And next, let's count the seeds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 seeds. The ratio of keys to seeds is 4 is to 7. Number 2. What is the ratio of clocks to seeds? Let us count the clocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 clocks. And there are 7 seeds. The ratio of clocks to seeds is 5 is to 7. Number 3. What is the ratio of keys to clock? There are 4 keys and there are 5 clocks. The ratio of keys to clocks is 4 is to 5. Number 4. What is the ratio of seeds to keys? Very good! The ratio of seeds to keys is 7 is to 4. And number 5, what is the ratio of keys to all other items? Again, there are 4 keys and let's count all the other items. There are 7 seeds and there are 5 clocks. 7 plus 5 equals 12. So the ratio of keys to all other items is 4 is to 12. The number being compared is followed by the number to which it is compared to. We also call this an ordered pair of numbers. A ratio can be written using colon between two numbers or in fraction form, but a ratio is not a fraction. A rate is a ratio that compares two measurements. And now, let's do learning task 2. Write each ratio in fraction and colon forms. Number 1. Cups to saucers. There are 3 cups and there are 4 saucers. Write it in fraction form and in colon form. Correct! 
in fraction form, the answer is 3 is to 4. In column form, the answer is 3 is to 4. Number 2. Spoons to forks. How many spoons and forks are there? Very good! There are 6 spoons and there are 4 forks. In fraction form, the answer is 6 is to 4. And in column form, the answer is 6 is to 4. Number 3. Pairs of shoes to pairs of socks. How many pairs of shoes and pairs of socks are there? Very good! There are 3 pairs of shoes and there are 5 pairs of socks. In fraction form, the answer is 3 is to 5. And in column form, the answer is 3 is to 5. And now, let's do learning task 3. Use the sets of pictures to answer the given questions. Letter A. What is the ratio of the number of? Number 1. Squares to triangles. Look at the shapes inside the box. First, let us count the squares. There are 4 squares. And next, count the triangles. There are 4 triangles. So the ratio of squares to triangles is 4 is to 4. Number 2. What is the ratio of the number of stars to circles? The number of stars are 5 and the number of circles are 6. So the ratio of stars to circles is 5 is to 6. Number 3. What is the ratio of the number of circles to triangles? There are 6 circles and the triangles are 4. So the ratio of the number of circles to triangles is 6 is to 4. Number 4. What is the ratio of the number of stars to squares? There are 5 stars and there are 4 squares. So the ratio of the number of stars to squares is 5 is to 4. Number 5. What is the ratio of the number of triangles to stars? There are 4 triangles and there are 5 stars. So the ratio of the number of triangles to stars is 4 is to 5. Now let us observe the number of animals inside the box. For number 6, what is the ratio of the number of dogs to frogs? There are 4 dogs and there are 2 frogs. So the ratio of the number of dogs to frogs is 4 is to 2. Number 7. What is the ratio of the number of frogs to fig? Correct! There are 2 frogs and only 1 pig. So the ratio of the number of frogs to pig is 2 is to 1. Number 8. What is the ratio of the number of rats to dogs? Very good! There are 3 rats and there are 4 dogs. So the ratio of the number of rats to dogs is 3 is to 4. Number 9. What is the ratio of the number of pig to chickens? Correct! There is only one pig and the chickens are 2. So the ratio of the number of pig to chickens is 1 is to 2. And number 10. What is the ratio of the number of frogs to all other animals? Correct! There are two frogs and let's count all the other animals. One pig plus three rats equals four plus four dogs equals eight plus two chickens equals ten. So the ratio of the number of frogs to all other animals is two is to ten. Letter B. Draw any picture showing the ratio of number eleven. 3 is to 4. I will show you 3 bees and 4 sunflower. 3 bees to 4 sunflowers. Number 12. 8 is to 2. I will show you 8 aigrettes to 2 buffaloes. Number 13. 
10 is to 5. So I will show you 10 ants to 5 ant hills. Number 14, 5 is to 6. I'll show you 5 birds to 6 earthworms. And number 15, 2 is to 6. I'll show you 2 burgers to 6 fries. And for learning task 4, answer the given questions. Number 1. What is the ratio of the number of vowels to the number of consonants in the English alphabet? So there are 26 English alphabet. There are 5 vowels and there are 21 consonants. So the ratio of the number of vowels to consonants is 5 is to 21. Number 2. What is the ratio of the number of men to the number of women in the roster of Philippine presidents? Very good! The ratio is 14 is to 2. There are 14 men and there are 2 women in the roster of Philippine presidents. Number 3. What is the ratio of the number of days in a week to number of weeks in one month? There are 7 days in a week, and there are 4 weeks in 1 month. So the ratio of the number of days to the number of weeks is 7 is to 4. Number 4. What is the ratio of the number of seconds in a minute to seconds in an hour? In a minute, there are 60 seconds. In an hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So the ratio is... 60 is to 3,600. And number 5, what is the ratio of the number of months in a year to the number of months in a decade? There are 12 months in a year. In a decade, there are 10 years. Multiply 12 times 10. So in a decade, the number of months is 120. So the ratio is 12 is to 120. 12 months in a year, and 120 months in a decade. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!